Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Once again, I have something from the KO Distilling in Manassas, Virginia. I come from Virginia region originally. And this is the Bare Knuckle American Rye Whiskey. Distilled and bottled by KO Distilling. Bill Carlson, the K, together with John Omada, the O, decided at a class reunion after they both had been retired to actually start with a lifelong dream of distilling. And so they incorporated in 2013, they broke ground in 2015, and then they actually brought out this rye whiskey um, sometime at the beginning here of 2017. 18 months old. Yay. Says so here on the little thing. You can almost read that now this time. Very, very good. So aged for 18 months. Someone actually, there's a little gap here where she holds up the thing like in a box fighter. So it's 18 months. So um, early bare knuckle fighters traveled Americans, America's, American byways, plying their trade, gaining fame and entertaining the masses. They pushed the boundaries of life. Those who did well reaped the rewards. K.O. Distilling American Rye Whiskey is all about pushing those boundaries to fight to win. As one of K.O.'s founder's surname invokes, um, Opima Sopilia, the riches of the spoils, so does our rye. Mm. All right, KO Distilling presents this small batch rye whiskey aged to perfection in new charred American oak barrels. Now, I'm going to call BS <laughs> on the age to perfection after 18 months. I'm sorry. I totally disagree. All right. So I think they wanted to bring out a product, product as fast as possible. That's why they started with their wheat whiskey, which I totally understand, which I don't think is a bad idea. I didn't like it, but it's not a bad idea to bring out a whiskey with 60% wheat, 30% rye, 10% um, malted barley, and just get it out there so it's better than the white dog or, or it's different than the gin because they actually want to produce whiskey. The second thing you can do as a good distiller is just produce rye. This is a 100% rye whiskey which means they have to put in enzymes to kickstart the fermentation as well as then the um, um, the fermentation and the, um, I forgot the word in English, which I'm just not going to talk about. <laughs> All right, so um, in English, okay, in German it's Gärung und Fermentierung. So um, to actually get the fermentation going, they put in the enzymes, which is just perfectly fine. There's no problem whatsoever. Lot 40 does it there up there, and a lot of Alberta distilling does it. Um, some of the stuff we have from Whistlepig has those enzymes, enzymes in there because of the 100% rye. Absolutely okay. I do have my problem with the statement, age to perfection after, four, after 18 months. So, um, I get that same roasted, pe roasted pumpkin seeds unsalted as I did with the wheat. That's really, really curious. Now, the rye does come through. It's a young rye. It's an immature rye. There's a little bit of the alcohol in there. But the, um, the, the spirit itself is not yet balanced as I would expect it to be from a rye. In my German video, I actually compared it here to my... Um, I just picked out a Rittenhaus. Um, I could have done Pikesville. I could have done Jack Daniels Single Barrel. I could have done Lot 40. I could have done... I have like eight or ten different rides at the moment I could have done, but this is just not where it could or should be. <sighs> pumpkin seed oil, pumpkin seed, roasted pumpkin seeds is what I'm getting here, together in a dough of very, very lightly ride um, of grains. No, definitely not mine. My cup of tea. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Metallic. Bitter. Sharp. Peppery. Wow. A, me a very metallic. 
the grain, the rye, is trying to poke its head through this. It's like a fog. And just a tiny little bit of the grain makes it above that fog of, of the youthfulness of this whiskey. And that's why I called out the age to perfection statement here. If it would have been a straight rye whiskey, four years old, blah, blah, blah. If it would have been aged maybe in Texas for 18 months where two summers would have been in between there, I would have went, mm, well, let me try it and find out. But this definitely, I'm so sorry, Bill and John and Ryan now, also the head, dis um, um, head distiller down there. This is just not what it could or should and might have to be. All right, I'm going to dilute it down and see what happens then. I'm sure that this would taste different on ice. I don't do ice. I'm sorry. i am got my Glen Can. I do a lot of scotch. I do a lot of Irish. I do a lot of bourbons. And over here in Germany, we just don't have those hot summers where we need to have ice in our alcoholic beverages, to be honest. Okay, it's a little bit better with the, um, with the water. It turns up a little bit of a leather note. It's like a new leather bag, a new leather chair a little bit. I like it with a little bit more water in there. Hmm. It's very watered down. It's 35, 32%. It's acceptable at that place, but it, all that oakiness, all that youthfulness, all that... Um, other stuff going on there just kind of is, is diluted and a little bit of the rye sweetness remains. It's no longer whiskey at 32%, therefore it's not going to count. I'm going to give this a D-. minus. Congratulations, you did not fail. Um, but you are making progress. I've done the wheat, 12 months. I've done the rye, 18 months. I'm really looking forward to the bourbon because maybe that's going to be finally, after 24 months, something where you go, wow, this is nice. Um... I'm just imagining this at four, five, six, seven years of age. This could actually be an excellent, excellent whiskey at that time. I'm looking forward to what they have. I'm looking forward to what they're going to do. But now at this moment, I'm actually going to fail this for a value for money. I paid 50 euros for this, which is a, translated into 58 um, dollars at the moment. Not worth it at all. I'm so sorry. I did do a bottle share and now I think eight different people are going to get samples of this as well as the weeded as well as the bourbon and they are also going to hopefully create their own opinion to the KO distilling on um, the bare knuckle series at the moment and I must admit I'm a little bit disappointed I was hoping for more but maybe I set my hopes too high whiskey Jason here whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare I didn't find a whiskey video about this online therefore I made it myself um, and thank you very much for watching. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thumbs up if you can. Thumbs down if you dislike me ranting and raving about this whiskey I did not like. And maybe you can subscribe or tell others about this channel. Thank you very much. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.